Peanut butter and jelly is perhaps the most classic flavor combination, and it's ubiquitous in children's lunch boxes, but it also makes for a great and sophisticated dessert. First, we have to make the tart shell, and it's very similar to a shortbread crust. It begins with a stick of unsalted butter at room temperature, so it should be nice and soft. That goes into the food processor, and sugar. This is one third cup of confectioner sugar, and you have to have salt, even in dessert. One teaspoon of coarse salt goes in, and just pulse that around. And these rubber scrapers always come in handy. Just push things back down to the bottom of the bowl. Okay, and a few more pulses here. All right, that looks good. Now for the flour. This is one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, spooned and leveled. And we pulse again until a dough forms. Okay, and you can see now that there are large clumps. That's what we're looking for. No more dry flour mixture remaining. And then this just needs to be kneaded a few times. So scrape it all out of the processor bowl. It's a wet dough, but not to worry. That's exactly what we're looking for. And just knead this a few times with your hands. It's a bit like Play-Doh. And it's helpful to have a little bit of bench flour and a bench scraper handy. And the bench scraper you can use to get all of that dough that sticks to your work surface back together. That looks pretty good. Now for the fun part, the shaping of the tart. Place the dough onto a piece of parchment paper, cut to fit a baking sheet, and then cover the dough with plastic wrap. You'll want to just flatten it slightly to get it going. And this gets rolled out into a 6 by 13 inch rectangle with a rolling pin. And because it's such a sticky dough, you really do need that plastic wrap. You can always make some minor adjustments after you've rolled it out, so it does not have to be exact. And you want to make sure that it's fairly uniform in thickness, which you can do just by running your hand gently over it. That feels pretty good. Now we need to get this into a rectangle shape. And then you can just use your hands, and then you want to create a border. And just use your parchment to help fold over the dough and build up the edges. Okay, and then you can create a decorative edge just with your fingers by pinching like this all the way around. It's kind of like you're crimping the edges of a pie. And this tart has a rustic look. It doesn't have to be perfect. It mimics the look of a tart pan, only you don't have to use a tart pan. Transfer this to a baking sheet and with the tines of a fork, dock the dough all over inside the border. That will prevent the dough from puffing too much in the oven because we need this space to get filled up with peanut butter and jelly. Into the freezer it goes until it's firm. That'll take about 20 minutes. Our dough is ready to go into a preheated 350 degree oven for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, remove it and quickly press down the center again with the bottom of a measuring cup and then return it to the oven for about 12 more minutes until the tart shell is light golden. Now it's time for the peanut butter and jelly. While the tart is hot right from the oven, spread it first with a third of a cup of creamy peanut butter. Be sure you're using a sweetened peanut butter, not one of those uh, all natural unsweetened varieties because it won't be sweet enough for dessert. So that goes first and you can just spread it out to the edges and spread the peanut butter to the edges of the tart. This is a quarter cup of raspberry jelly that I've gently warmed over a low flame. You could also use grape jelly, if that's your preference. So just drizzle it evenly over the top. Get all of that out of the pan. Now for the swirling, you'll want a little skewer like this and just run it through the jelly and peanut butter a few times. And this goes back into the oven for about six to seven minutes just until the jelly begins to bubble. Let your tart cool on a wire rack for about 15 minutes. That'll give the jam and the peanut butter time to set up again. And then we can cut it into little wedges. So slide it right onto your board. And with a nice sharp knife into wedges. Now that looks pretty darn good. I say ditch that white sandwich bread and embrace the new PB&J in tart form. Oh yeah, happy eating.